Women have apparently discovered a new way to relieve menopause symptoms. All right, the Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike is live with us. Never thought we'd be talking menopause and marijuana, Dr. Mike, with you, but here we go. I'm so <laughs> curious to know, how does cannabis target menopause symptoms? Well, what we're finding and what women in general are finding is that uh, they're using cannabis for things like anxiety, insomnia, uh, 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 hot flash, all of those things. Now, uh, like anything else, the data is limited, but more and more women are using it. Uh, and look, menopausal symptoms can be really devastating in terms of your life, the quality of your life, and uh, it can really play havoc. So uh, that's what's happening. Now, the bottom line here is that like everything else in life, Sally and Melissa, everything is a risk benefit ratio. So what is the risk and what is the benefit? Well, we talked about the benefits. The risks are I don't like anyone using inhaled marijuana. I know that I'm I'm not uh, uh, a hip, but that that and I don't want anything going in the lungs. That's number one. Number two, uh, there are some risks involved with uh, data that's coming out looking at cardiovascular risk, heart attack, stroke in some people. Uh, and then finally, th there's an uptick in the uh, accident rates related to the use of marijuana. So if you weigh all of that in your particular situation and you have menopausal symptoms, uh, you, you have to figure that out. It may work. That's hard to figure out. Do I want to have a heart attack or stroke, or do you want symptoms? Like That's really going to be a discussion, I think, with your doctor. So let me ask you this. We were showing CBD oil. So if you're saying don't inhale it, do you suggest that that would actually have the same benefits as somebody who smokes it? Uh, well, uh, when it comes to edibles, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Um, uh, CBD, lots of people are using CBD. I just don't like anything going in your lungs mm. and certainly not vaping. Uh, I don't want anything getting into your lungs, no matter what it is. Uh, if you want to try edibles uh, or CBD of any form, uh, try it, see if it works. When I mention stroke and heart attack, uh, there, there is some data, and by the way, there's a lot of research going on right now since the advent of legalization of all of this uh, that needs to be done, that is going on to see what the risks and benefits are. Uh, and so that's why it's hard to say, oh, definitely do this or that. It's an individual decision. If, uh, if my wife had a heart attack and she was going through menopause, I'm not sure I would go this route mm. because of the information that I have looked at. Uh, certainly, uh, if she didn't, then in moderation, Maybe it, it's the right way to go, but it's something that really is individualized. Well, hopefully there will be more studies, more mm. research, and we can get a better idea of how it can help menopausal women. Thank you, Dr. Mike. Appreciate the, the discussion. Well, I appreciate you, Sally and Melissa. You are the best. You rock, and I love you both. Oh. You embellish my life oh. every couple of weeks you know what? when I'm on. We needed that from a from a Phillies fan yeah, to an Astros did. fan we this sure morning. You needed make it him that happy. <laughs> Look, he's got a smile on his face. Oh, he's he happy too. Oh, there, oh, there he is. we go. Yeah. That's sort of creepy. There he is. All right. Well, look smile at your smile instead, Dr. Mike. All right. Yeah. See you soon. <laughs>